Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Uh, sitting in lockdown, got you, you start thinking about all the things you ever wanted to build and didn't get uh, time for. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I was thinking, what do I need? Well, I won't say need, but what can I build that, that, that'll be useful from time to time? And uh, I went uh, around searching and doing the old jazz hands on the Googler and got to a, a wrench extension. So there's basically three types of wrench extensions. This is going to be a three-part series where we, we will be building all three of them and looking at the pros and cons and, and what happens and what not. So let's get right into it. For the first one, I've got a piece of 13 by 10 flat bar, um, as well as some 25 by 25 angles that I've cut to the thickness of my thickest wrench. So plain and simple, we'll just be welding them on uh, as we go along. How do you decide on the length? I made this one an inch shorter than the toolbox that it'll most probably go into going out in the field. Um, the thing is, you can't make it too long. And remember, you've got a 200 pound gorilla on the end of it. So uh, instead of just uh, going absolute berserk, make something that's... Think about it a bit and, and, and make something that, that you'll be able to use. You will probably not be fastening any nuts and bolts with it you'll probably be using it to break uh, stuff loose now i think in a normal motor mechanic uh, scenario you don't really use them but uh, i've had uh, had to use a piece of pipe and cheetah bar and stuff um, out on the farm quite a lot um, that's normally where stuff gets well sits outside uh, implement sits outside for the rest of the season uh, you've got uh, metal working in the ground that tends to seize up stuff a lot more than than normal cars driving in the street so that's going to be the major use for it um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut off this end make a nice little end, end at the back uh, what i'm then going to do is i'm going to weld on these pieces of flat bar something in that order so that your wrench can fit in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly cut it off. I'm not going to show it on the video. We've all, we all know how, what it looks like when you're grinding and stuff. So be back just now. Okay, so we've got the handle cut. Uh, did a little hole on the end. Maybe we'll hang it up somewhere sometime. Uh, next up, we have to weld on these uh, little pieces of angle. Uh, now the thing is, now you must just uh, think a bit about it. What are you going to do? You're going to use this to loosen nuts. So if you're loosening nuts, you're going to go in a anti-clockwise direction. So where do we need them? We need them on these two edges. That one there and that one there. So that we can actually hook it in and then loosen it. Or am I, am I, am I being mad now? Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be this side and that side. So it's going to be something like this. Am I being absolutely off of my rocker now? Are you agreeing with me? Because it looks funny. Or are we going to do it that way? No, that's a question. Are you going to put the... Probably doesn't matter that much because you're going to put it on this way or that way. Problem is if you've got an opening if you're using the open end, let's say for instance you close up a auto or something and you're needing the open end, you cannot put it in that way so it will have to go this way, so it will 
I have to go that way. I would have done this the wrong way around. Hmm. Because so it's going to be on this side and on that side. Well, all else fails, I'll just grind it off and do it over. So, but I think this is going to be it. Let's start welding. And I think there we have it. I'm just going to give it a bit of a wire wheel and see how it comes out and I'll be back just now. Gentlemen, always time to do it right the second time. I had a feeling it was wrong and my feeling was right. It was wrong. It should be in this way. The reason for it is if you, for instance, have the or wrenching on a ring flat uh, on the closed end span, you want to be as close to in line with a nut or bolt as possible. So being on the outside, it just it just makes this whole thing wobble, and that's why it should be on the inside. Uh, I knew there was a reason for it. Uh, I took time off, went through it and uh, had to grind the whole thing off. So let's weld it again. Gentlemen, and there we have it. I uh, redid the whole thing. I don't know if you can see there. Uh, slapped some primer on it and now it is done as you can see now ready to work so that being said i think this is about as heavy duty as it's gonna get um, if you need anything more than this you will be needing an impact driver i think anything longer than this you know there's a big chance of you hurting yourself so so I think it's fit for purpose, quick little, if you're doing it right the first time and don't have to do it over again, uh, it's actually a 10 minute project. And uh, chuck it in the bottom of the toolbox, you will, well especially like I say, if you're working on big machines or out on the farm, you will definitely find it work for this and, and definitely uh, use it from time to time. I don't think it's a tool that you use every day, but definitely it has its place. Uh, with that being said, I think I'm going to wrap up this uh, episode. In the next episode, we'll be uh, fabricating a max style wrench extension. So look out for that one. Um, as always, guys, please rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay safe.